Hey guys, I'm up here and today I have a very cool flashlight to show you. It is the X7R Marauder from Olight. Inside the box you're going to receive the light, a charger, a charging cable, paracord lanyard, holster, and the user's guide. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are just watching this video to see what this flashlight looks like outside at night and with 12,000 lumens, let me tell you, it's awesome. But there's some features I have to tell you about this light that I really, really enjoy. So if you just want to see the outdoor stuff, fast forward a few minutes and you can watch that. For the rest of us, let me show you why I love this flashlight. I use my flashlight every single night at work. And sometimes it's hard to feel around and find the button when you're outside and it's cold out and you have your gloves on and you just can't find the power button on your flashlight. It's kind of frustrating, especially when you need it. Olight solved that problem with a motion activated light on the power button. And even just tapping the table turns it on. And you can see this little green pulse that comes on and you can definitely see that outside. I'll show it to you in the video later on. But that is an awesome, awesome feature. Most flashlights nowadays will come with these wimpy little lanyards and that's because they have these teeny tiny holes in the flashlights that they have to like be able to fit that into. This Olight comes with a no joke paracord lanyard. I mean, that's some cordage right there. And they have this huge opening here on the side of the flashlight for it to go in. If you're not going to use the lanyard, boop, and now it's out of the way. I love this lanyard holder and I might actually use my lanyard because of that. This flashlight is powered by three XHP70 Cree LED bulbs. It is IPX7 waterproof, impact resistant for one meter, and has a beam distance of 1247 feet. And did I mention the 12,000 lumens? To get that kind of power, they built four 18650 batteries into this light. Now that's a lot of power to have in a flashlight and since it's built in and you can't take it out you have to be able to charge it somehow so if you go to the base of it and give it a little twist pops open the USB port. To get those batteries charged as quick as they can they don't use a regular micro USB cable they use the new type C cable which is a little bit bigger and provides a lot more power. So we stick that into the bottom here. You can see that we have two little red dots in there that are letting us know that we are currently charging. And when it's done charging, all the lights turn green. The only thing I don't like about this setup is that the cable has a little bit of play on the charger. And since you can't take the batteries out, you really need this thing to work. Let's go through some of the numbers on this. First, we have night light. So you hold the button down for a second and the light turns on. That is 10 lumens. With these batteries, that will stay lit for 30 days. <laughs> uh, click it again and turn it off. On. And if you hold it down, we will get to low, which is 500 lumens. And that will last for 14 hours. Hold it down again, and we go to medium which is 1,000 lumens and it'll stay lit there for six hours. Hold it again and now we are at high and that is 3,000 lumens and that'll last for two hours and ten minutes. Then with a double click we get to turbo which is 7,000 lumens for 12 minutes and then it'll drop down to 3,000 lumens for 110 minutes after that. With another double click we get to turbo S which is 12 thousand lumens. Then after three minutes it'll get down to three thousand lumens and stay there for 120 minutes. Now the reason why this is kind of dimming down is because it has a sensor on it that if it gets too close to any other object it'll power down so it doesn't fry whatever that object is. So if we kind of lift it up here a little bit you can see it pops right back up into its high mode, put something in front of it, and it will tone it down Wow, that is really hot whoo I'm glad it did tone down that was warm okay so that is a cool safety feature on this light now that got me kind of curious about how hot this light will get so I got out my little uh, laser 
thermometer here. We're going to just see. Looks like we got up to 127.5 degrees. So with that kind of heat on here, it's a pretty nice safety feature to have on this flashlight. Last but not least, there is a button lockout feature. And if you click it three times, you have the strobe. Let's take this thing outside and play with it. We are outside. It is just after midnight, and we're going to try this thing out. Look at this. Look how cool that is. With just the motion lights up the power button. That's awesome. Let's hold down the button for a second or so and get the night light mode on. And you can see the railing of our deck pretty good. I can see out into the grass. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera or not. And it kind of maybe bounces off the pump house a little bit, but not much. Let's go ahead and put it on to low. There we go. Really bright on the railing. Everything out in the yard. Pump house lights up. Trees on the side of the property there along the fence line. Can even light up some of the trees across the street a little bit. Let's put it on to medium. That is bright. Look at that. The whole entire yard. The whole fence line all the way out to the edge of the property. Across the street. <laughs> That's on medium. Let's put it on to high. Look at that. We haven't even hit turbo yet. That is insane. That's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and try turbo. So double click. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so from here to the pump house is about 50 feet. From here to that tree line across the street is about 200 feet away. Now let's try the high turbo. <laughs> that is intense. Okay, we have to go to the edge of the property to try this thing out really. Let's go. We are now on the edge of the property looking back towards the house and we have this on low right now and I can see from here I can see everything pretty much in the pasture. You can see the light a little bit off of the shipping container and the travel trailer in the house. It's not really showing up on camera that well though. Let's go ahead and put it on to medium. Look at all the bugs we're tracking. <laughs> okay, so now we have it on to medium. And we can see a lot more, just a little bit brighter. Let's put it on to high. There we go. Okay, so we got the shipping container there on the right, the blue, and that is about 300 feet away. The house on the other side of the white travel trailer there that I can see is about 360 feet away. And I can even light up the tree line on the other end of the property, which is probably about 460 feet away. Let's put it on the turbo. And that just makes everything brighter. You can even light up the neighbor's house way over there on the right. That's probably like 800 feet away from there. Let's put it on to the second turbo here. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. You guys aren't seeing what I can see from here, but this is really cool. I can see everything out here. I don't even have to move the flashlight around. That's insane. I mean, it lights up the fence line. Wow. I mean, it is bright. This thing's starting to get a little warm, though. That is awesome. Oh, let's try out the uh, strobe. Um, triple click. Okay. Oops. 
Well, that is pretty cool. Look at all the bugs coming out now for this light. Pulling them in from everywhere. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.